Hi there, this is Edgar Piedem of FEM Data Streamliner. Finite element models represent an ideal world where everything is straight and without tolerances. The real world is not that perfect. This is why a code check should be used on your structure to ensure that the construction is really acceptable. Finite element programs generally don't have these checks present in their software. In this video, I want to show you the advantage of the add-on software with a check according to recognized standards. In this example, we are using the standard according to DNV Recommended Practice C201 for checking plate, stiffeners and girders. Now, suppose this is a piece of structure which can be part of a jackup. It is constrained at the piles, which are not modeled, but are supposed at the edges. And there is a load on there. In this case, this load can be due to a crawler crane, applying its pressure load onto the deck. The model's deformation looks like this. Note that this is an enlarged representation of the deformation. The model is run and there are results in there. Just assume the work stress design and assume a 355 MPa yield steel with an allowable unity factor of 0.6. The allowable stress is then 213 MPa. Now we can show you the calculated von Mises stresses as calculated by the finite element program. The calculated stresses, in this case, at the bottom side of the shell, look acceptable. Th they are far below the allowable yield stress. If also a check is performed according to, in this case, DNV, the unity check values show a more critical picture. In this area, the panels are real critical. The following graph shows the reason why. The Vomisa stress is in most cases too optimistic. Only in the tension tension quadrant, these are acceptable. For all other quadrants, a code check leads to more pessimistic results and to higher unity checks. Something similar is valid when considering the strength of stiffeners and girders. Assuming that it is a simple elastic beam is in many cases too optimistic. Comparing the combination of actual stress with bending stress to the allowable stress gives a large reserve in strength. The unity check according to code shows also that this area is critical. This is due to the allowable based on buckling and flexural torsional buckling instead of the yield allowable. Note that in the code check the results are presented in shell elements since the stresses in these elements are assumed to be similar for the stiffeners. Conclusion is that such large plated structures always need to be checked according to a design code. Linear elastic theories are not sufficient. FAM Data Streamliner provides this software as an add-on to your finite element package. Thank you for watching.